Philippe, why do this? I mean, why choose to list without any new shares or raising any money? And it begs a question, well, what do they list with then? Well, that's a very good point, Rish, and this is a discussion that's been quite active this year because why to list in Hong Kong if you're already listed in the U.S. where the market is much bigger, where liquidity is much higher? Well, there's all this conversation about Chinese companies trying to be listed closer to home because all of the doubts that a lot of people still have if they will be allowed to remain in the U.S. market. Listing here by way of introduction, which is the case for Tencent Music, not selling new shares, not actually raising new money, it's a much quicker, it's a much faster process that still allows you to hedge. You have a secondary listing, it can be a dual primary listing, and if eventually you do need to leave the U.S. market for any reason, you can just have and uh, just put efforts to make this stock here more liquid than it is right now. Yeah, no book building, I suppose, at the end of the day, you're mitigating that risk, but uh, does it have any implications uh, for liquidity. Well, of course, as you mentioned, the whole process is much, much lighter, let's say. It's much quicker. It's much faster than the usual IPO process that you have to convince investors to buy your share. You have to come up with a uh, right valuation that sometimes it's hard to get uh, a combination of the intention of the company and what investors are asking for, especially at a hard market as the one that we are seeing right now. It, liquidity, it's much lower. Yes, let's say that's a price that you pay for just uh, putting the, the shares to trade in such under circumstances but still it can be a very uh, interesting way if you just want to speed up the whole process and not have to see the valuation of your company going down way beyond below you expected so Felipe who's next what are the other Chinese names that could also list by way of introduction soon well, Haslinda, this is a market that's a, it's a topic that's actually quite active. And for example, we are waiting for more companies in Singapore to also list by way of introduction. We had a few names uh, coming to market there uh, through the same process. One of them was NIO, the Chinese EV maker, that also listed by way of introduction here in uh, Hong Kong. And we heard from the stock exchange in Singapore that there should be more companies doing the same process. One of the names that we are waiting here in Hong Kong that has already announced that is considering listing by way of introduction before the end of the year is the international operations of Heidi Lao, the Chinese hot pot uh, chain. It's a very interesting one, a lot of interest to see it trading here in Hong Kong. So we should see uh, it debuting in the market and probably in the next few months.